Hi everybody, this is Caroline. I'm a Flow Films partner from France. And today's tutorial is going to be about your contact page uh, by using Flow Forms. So um, I'm going to show you all the different steps and different ways of uh, getting clients to contact you. We're going to speak about the different elements that we need to think about and to include to encourage action from our visitors on our website. Uh, there are many ways and many tools right now to check if the actions we are taking in terms of designs are working. So um, especially I'm thinking about Google Analytics. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cover all of this and we're going to start right there by downloading the plugin uh, created by um, Flowfilms, um, which is called Flowforms. Okay, let's go. Hi guys, so we are on Flowfilms website and we're going to scroll down at the footer and we're going to come here on plugins. Okay. And here there are loads of plugins uh, that you can have a look through. I spoke about all of them in my general introduction to Flowfilms. Uh, it's a tutorial you can find on YouTube already. And we will be looking for this flow form. So there is the free version, which is the one I'm going to work with for this tutorial. And there's also a pro version, which gives you a lot more options. Okay. So I'm going to download this. Hi guys. So we are here, uh, right now on my website. And so I am working with flow forms for my business. And so. Once you have installed the plugin, you will find here on your dashboard, you will find flow forms and flow form settings. So uh, as you can see here, I'm already, um, I have created different um, flow forms um, and I'm gonna start creating a new one. As you can see, mine are in both French and English because my uh, website is in a uh, double language, but I'm going to take you through a new form. Hey guys, so we are here on add a new form and I have named this one through films tutorial. So this is what happens when um, you arrive on this page, you have this free parts here that you need to look at. And here, um, here is the recipient email, meaning the email that will receive emails um, coming from these flow forms. So you need to make sure your email address is correct. And you can also rename this, 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 is how this will appear when you receive your email on your email box. And so I can say this is a flow themes tutorial form. Okay. Um, there is also the option here to say, okay, thank you for filling this form. And you can also redirect to a thank you page if you have one. So this is also an option. Right now, I'm going to start building the form. And I'm going to start here by clicking on single line text. And once it's there, I'm going to come here and it takes me to field settings. And I'm going to change this to first name. And I'm going to make this a required field. And the little red star here will appear. Okay, doing the same thing here again. Okay, and this is family name, and it's a required field. Then I want the email address from my client, and I want it to be a must. I want This to be my phone number box, and it's a must. It's a must for two reasons. If somebody types in a wrong email address, uh, then you have another way to 
reach out to your clients. And this is great to avoid any loss of opportunity. And also for me, I know that I am much better at selling my photo sessions or my services if I have a client directly on the phone. So this is, for me, it's a must. I know some people don't feel comfortable on the phone. It's not. For me, it's it's a must. Okay. So now I'm going to ask them for, for what project they are contacting me. And I want to know if it's family or if it's for a newborn session. Or if it's for a portrait. Okay. Okay. They need to feel this, so I need to know what I'm talking about. If um, here I'm going to include a paragraph text. So they can tell me more about their project, about your synth app. Okay. They can indicate a date if they have one already, or maybe if it's a wedding or something. And I think for me, this is going to be, this is going to be it. Um, we could fill this with a lot more details. I know some of my colleagues, um, are asking for a lot more personal details from their visitors when, uh, they fill the, the flow forms. I personally hate spending time filling forms. So I try to keep mine very short. So I'm going to save it now. I'm going to do save form. And you can see it's working here. And it has now given me a, an ID code for these flow forms. And this is the ID code that we will replicate within the contact page, which I will show you just now. Right, we are on this contact page that we are just about to build. And I would strongly advise you to come here in the templates section and pick a model that Flowfim has designed for you. So I have chosen this one already. And so I have imported the blocks here in my layout. And we're going to start right here. Um, and the first thing we need to do is to pick an image. So for the image that will be here, there are three options. Option number one would be to have a portrait of you. So you engage directly with the client when he's just about to contact you. Option number two, have a very strong image from your portfolio. Um, so for example, for me, it would be, it could be something related to family photography. Or for a wedding photographer, it could be like a nice couple with a lovely smile. Or if you're an elopement, then you want to choose one of these big landscape image that is just like the wow factor. This image needs to make a lasting impression. So you want this to be strong. And third option would be to choose a lifestyle image that suggests uh, calling you. So for example, this could be my option number one, which is uh, the portrait that is on my about page. And I'm looking at the, at the camera. Uh, option number two could be something like this strong image. And it's again, this is a, like a um, season factor. We're in summer, so I'm not showing anything with like snow or or there is never snow where I live, but you know what I mean. 
Uh, and third option would be something with like a diary and a pen to suggest me booking the agenda once the client have contacted me to book their session. So I'm going to stay with this. Doesn't matter. Uh, and here you can also choose to work these with different colors, but I'm going to stick with the colors by default from the theme. And so you can say here, get in touch or contact Caroline or contact me. I like it to be a bit more personal. Um, so I like to include my name because I want them to feel comfortable to, you know, address me directly. A little um, info subtitle. Uh, so if you're ready to be part of the adventure, fill this form in and we'll get started. Okay, now here you have the option to get rid of this completely, or you could uh, include to provide uh, clients with your information. I would strongly suggest that you do it and you give people the option to contact you if for some reason the form doesn't go through. I see and I hear too many feedbacks of photographers or people that I coach for web designs, or I read this on too many community posts where people say, oh my God, I've just realized that, you know, I haven't received any email for the last three, four weeks. And you're like, okay, you need to give people the option to contact you if this doesn't work. So you could also say here in your info subtitle, you could say, if you haven't heard from me in the next 48 hours, please send me an email here. So you have this backup option. Okay, same pro and cons with the telephone number. Some people do not like to be contacted on the phone. For me, you know, I, I like this, so it's not a problem. But if you don't put your telephone number in, please, please let people know about your professional email address. Right, here uh in the second part is where we are either going to choose to stick with a built-in um form and this is what flow themes has already prepared for you so name ad email address subject of message and message i would really really invite you to come here and use the short code that we have created uh, earlier with the flow form, and this is where you put it in. And voila. Okay. And then this is the rest of the page. Um, so. Okay, I'm going to add quickly a couple of images here. Okay, newborn. Uh, let's pick weddings deck. Let's pick. Um, family, it's okay. It's just for the purpose of showing you and let's pick a portrait. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm gonna put this and then I'm gonna fill this quickly, newborn. Weddings. And portrait. And you could say, these are my services. Okay, I'm saving and I would, you can add a link to the related page if you want to, or this could just be like a reminder. And then we're going to move on to the next part of the form. 
Yes, we are back on my dashboard with the flow forms. So this is where we created the uh, ID code for this uh, tutorial. So I wanted to show you this also in Flowform settings, which is very important. Um, there is, there are, sorry, those questions that you need to uh, answer, enable email reminder if there are unread entries. Uh, so I would uh, strongly recommend that you do yes. Um, this is for you to choose what format you would like uh, if you want to have a reply to email header and how often you want to receive this reminder the email address that it needs to be sent to and whether you want to uh, enable google uh, capture so then you save these options by allowing flow forms to send you a reminder you make sure that if there are emails um, that you have missed because you know the life is in the way sometimes, then you can check it all here. So you go back just up there to flow forms. So you come back to here, and rather than going here, you go to all entries, and this is where all the listing of the emails that were ever sent to you and there are pages of them. Um, so these are all the emails that, you know, you need to make, if I, if I were unread, they would be bold. So you know that here, everything is, is under control. I've seen them all. And if I wanted to get more details, then I have found, you know, you have all the details again from this client and which I, um, which I can have, you know, and check here from my dashboard in case anything had happened with my uh, own email address. So I hope this uh, contact page tutorial with Flowforms has helped you. If you want to push this further, uh, please be aware that there is a pro version of Flowforms giving you even more option and uh, that you can download uh, and buy from Flowfilms plugin website where we were at the beginning of this tutorial. Uh, thank you so much and speak soon for some more tutos. Bye bye.